That's not bad for a Glock. We're going to take a look at the Hornady Critical Duty in 9mm plus P 135 grains. Not to be confused with the Hornady Critical Defense, although we are going to offer up some comparisons to that in just a moment. Product number for this is 90226. There is also a non plus P 135 grain in the Critical Duty line, but this is the plus P variety. With regard to feet per second, advertised muzzle velocity is 1,115 feet per second, and guess what? I'm coming in higher than that. Out of the Glock 19, five-shot average was actually 1,125 feet per second. My shots were as follows, 1129, 1125, 1126, 1125, and 1119. So not only did we exceed advertised velocity, we're coming in with some very, very tight readings between these shots. The heart of this review is going to be popping this into a block of ballistic gel with four layers of denim from 10 feet. We'll get to that in just a second. Couple of quick comparisons. This is the 135 grain critical duty on the left, 115 grain critical defense on the right. Now you would anticipate that the heavier bullet will be longer, and that is the case here. Overall length OAL on the 135, the critical duty, is 1.130 inches. On the critical defense, 115 grain, it is 1.073. Also, I'm noticing that uh, I don't really see any design characteristics that are different between the two. Nothing unique there. They both have six serrations. They both are not bonded. They both, according to Hornady, have a thick jacket. And as you can see where the bullet meets this nickel-plated brass, it has a cantilever which is going to crimp or lock that jacket onto the bullet core itself and hopefully prevent jacket separation. What appears to be a consistent design characteristic between the critical duty on the left and critical defense on the right is that red rubber or soft polymer insert there in the hollow point cavity. That is there to ensure that nothing gets in that cavity to give us good expansion or to at least give it a better chance of expanding versus uh, getting clogged and then reacting like a full metal jacket. Now notice on the critical duty this is referred to as a flex lock. On the critical defense it's referred to as FTX and then also on the critical duty you have an H stamped on that rubber tip. You may have noticed on those opening shots that this didn't seem to give me a lot of recoil issues and also 135 grains isn't really common at this point in time as a 9 millimeter load. So I'm going to give you a quick recoil test and we'll roll straight into the test shot on the block. Spear Gold Dot 124 grain plus P, Remington Gold and Sabre 124 grain plus P, Federal HST 147 grain plus P. This is our critical duty test, 115 grain critical defense and a typical 115 grain full metal jacket that is from Winchester. Can't ask for much better shot placement than that. It is in the block, no exit. Let's go looking for it. Here's my weapon of choice for everything flying around the garage right now, going for these studio lights, but this is the time of day that I can pull this off. That is actually the right side of the track. Just a quick glimpse. Let's drop down to what is the left side in reality. Get the full view, about an inch in we have some expansion. This cavity doesn't look too bad. Looks like we have some expanded pedals that are getting into the media. That's a good sign. As far as width, this is anywhere from 0.6 to 0.75 inches. And this runs up to about the 6 inch mark. That's not bad. The bullet settles down. We're moving along. Anyone want to take a guess? 15, 16, and we're going to split the difference between 16 and 17. I've already measured that leading edge at 16.75 inches. Looks like we did have some expansion. Let's see if I can do this and keep the focus. Yeah, those have peeled all the way back to the core. It's held together, and look at there. That little insert did the job. Carried all the way forward, rested underneath, or just in front of the uh, stopping point. That is the stopping point, so if you want to add, say, maybe a quarter inch of that measurement. But that looks pretty good there. Let's drop back and see the full view. Focus. And that is a 20-inch block. 
16.75 on penetration. There's the high end on the expansion, but the average is 0.518, very uniform. Retained weight, including the tip, is 134.8 grains. Well, the concept seems to be quite simple. Hornady appears to have taken, unless someone else can prove otherwise, that this is the same bullet that they use for critical defense. Pretty daggum close to it. Kicking it up a couple notches with regard to weight for 9mm, putting some more juice behind it. That's great. Velocities were outstanding. I was extremely pleased to see that they exceeded advertised in this case. Someone else might come up with something different, and that's fine. We need to uh, get some standards out there. In any event, if it came down to 9mm Hornady and choosing between the critical defense 115 grain and this, I'm going with the critical duty. Thanks for watching.